people really do like to tussle on this app because i'm literally one of the most unproblematic people you'll ever run into like, being a mean girl or being like one of them girls online it it doesn't fit my complexion like it'll never be me being positive nice friendly supportive that is what i exude but i found myself in the middle of a tussle because i was trying to defend myself so i was on some girl's page and i'm always commenting on people's page i know how important interaction is so you always catch me in people's comments just dropping an emoji asking a question being positive and engaging and one of the ladies was talking about how to make a hundred thousand dollars in like 90 days selling ebooks and i've written so many different ebooks that i was like oh i need to find out more information about this so i dropped a comment like oh i'm interested to know how did you sell because she said that she sold like 100 ebooks a day and i'm like how did you sell 100 ebooks a day and somebody commented under my comment saying you have marketing in your bio and you're begging for help online first of all begging you're crazy for that one it was just really first of all i was hoping that when i went to the person's page it would have been like one of those invisible no default zero followers type of people but it was actually a regular black girl that i probably would have seen her posts on my fyp and probably have engaged with her in the past so number one that was really hurtful and i get that she was trying to like publicly embarrass me but there are levels and tiers to marketing I have marketed with some of the biggest artists, clients, brands, projects, literally all over the world. And I feel like I don't talk about my career as much as I talk about my personal life on TikTok because this is not LinkedIn or Facebook where I usually post heavily about the projects that I'm working on. But in this case, I kind of just had to clear her because I'm like, I've sold concerts with 25,000 seaters. I've never done a concert that hasn't been sold out from New York to Las Vegas to Los Angeles to South Africa, Cape Town, London, Dubai, Oman, the Middle East, America, UK, like Birmingham, Manchester, London, Houston, New York, like it doesn't matter. When it comes to shelling out shows, I know what I'm doing. Also because I have like a $20,000 marketing budget, so I'm able to do sponsored ads and go to radio and pay influencers and implement all of those things I do when I'm doing marketing for a big project or a big show. I've worked with Pepsi, Samsung, Netflix, like. The list goes on and on and on with the brands and projects that I've worked on, but I've never had to work on myself. Even while I was living in Nigeria, I had a radio show and a TV show that was like nationally syndicated. But again, they have marketing budgets for things like that. So when we have a premiere or an event or they have to send me somewhere, there's a budget to facilitate all of those things. Having me on a billboard or having my face on a bus, been there, done that now is the time in my life where i'm like okay let me share some of this wisdom that i've collected with my career and put it into ebooks which is what i've been doing and it's very different to market myself as a personal brand because obviously like telling somebody that WizKid is coming to your city and buy a ticket i'm also using the leverage of that said celebrity to market what i'm doing so it's not hard to say david and burning boy and t was average are coming to your city it's easier for me to do that than to say hey guys look at me this is my personal brand trust me with this insight and da 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 da, -da. so like I'm working on that, but I needed help with that. So I asked somebody who was experienced in that side of marketing and for the girl to like, basically trying to publicly shame me, like you're begging, begging for help with marketing, even though it says marketing in your bio. And it was just like, girl, please.